Alright, what's going on guys? My name is Dia and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I have something a little bit different. Um, it's more of like a story time and I didn't want to do another story time with just me telling a story in front of a camera. I want to try and add a little bit of gameplay so at least you guys have something to watch while you listen. Basically, we're playing some Call of Duty, nothing too crazy, with Black Ops 6 right around the corner. Big thing is going to happen next week. We're finally starting Black Ops 6. I'm super hyped for it. I'm very excited. The Campbell grads going to be fucking awesome. I can already feel it. The game was so much fun to play. I'm really excited to try Zombie. Excited to have a new refreshing original feeling. That's not what I'm here to talk about something that happened on tuesday and we're on sunday and i finally got everything figured out but basically uh, I, I got into a car accident and before anyone says anything i'm fine i'm okay everything is going the way it should be fine everything's good to go i will say that it, it fucked me over a little bit so i'm gonna explain what happened and i kind of figured this would make a nice story time and also as a reminder for you guys just drive safe just be careful i also am gonna try and record this in one game because i actually don't have long before i have to leave it is tuesday morning and i'm driving to work i'm running a little late i typically uh, we have a five to 10 minute grace period at my workplace and i typically just try to drive to work and i try to be on be as on time as i can without stressing myself out too much and you know, i leave the house and as i start driving and i you know, i'm making my way down past you know all the roads and such all the locations and i get to a college that is near my near my workplace i there's a right turn you can take it's a sweeping right turn with a filter lane and i would say 90 percent of the time people will continue through the lane. And when I say 90% of the time, that's 90% of the time in the past, recently, people have been using the crap out of the filter lane. They'll they'll actually like use it to filter through into the traffic. They won't stop when nothing's coming. And even if something is coming, people are indicating. It's typically been going like really well, to be honest. I haven't felt like unsafe in that area. And I still don't. I just can't believe this fucking happened to me. I end up going to follow this guy because nothing is coming. He's still just rolling forward. And I look, you know, to the left to see if any traffic's coming while I slow down, which is instead of coming to a complete stop before I did it and I uh yeah yeah just he rolled he rolled he rolled and out of nowhere he just stopped he stopped with no traffic there he stopped with no warning or anything he just just, just fucking stopped yeah you could say it's my fault because I rear-ended him and rightfully like yeah I, I, I would also agree that I now am I sitting here blaming him no taking the blame for it it's a hundred percent my fault in my opinion but at the same time I also feel like I it's not entirely my fault because if you're roll I'm saying right now if you're rolling 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 and rolling through a section of the road that is not like there's no traffic coming or anything like that then yeah you need to uh do some reevaluating on how you're driving because that is not only dangerous for you that is dangerous for me and that is dangerous for the people behind me and so anyways we i i rear end him uh i and uh, he seems to be fine seems and i'm gonna get to that in a minute i end up going up to check his car check on him and i run around like dude are you okay i'm so sorry i apologize i obviously feel really bad i just rear ended the shit out of his car i run up he's got his drink all over him and his phone in his lap and i didn't wait to get out of the car i didn't sit there and grab like my head when it was hurting and grab my leg or anything my first concern was is this person okay i don't want to you know don't want this person to think I just hit them out of malicious intent or anything. You know, after the car stops, I bang my head into the steering wheel because of how hard the stop was, and I end up twisting my leg when I was trying to get out of the car so fast. I check on him, and he's got his drink spilled all over his lap, and he's got his phone in his lap, and I'm just like, okay, this person, there's no cars coming, and this person has their drink in their lap and their phone in their lap? I'm starting to think that this person just, I rear-ended them they weren't fully paying attention and they just instinctually slammed their brakes on. So I get out and I, I start saying, dude, are you okay? I'm so sorry. Like, I'm, I'm really, really sorry. Are you okay? And the damage on his car isn't the worst, but it isn't the best. There's a small like slit in his bumper. It's about that big. On top of that, the right side of his bumper has come off of the plastic joints that are holding it together. I know this isn't the hardest fix in the world. And the reason I know it's not the hardest fix is because the same thing has happened to me. I have the literal, that literal issue with my front bumper. I end up, you know, I'm ending up having to save up a little bit of money just because unfortunately I don't make a whole lot and it's one thing after the other. And up he gets, he cusses me out and everything. And, and so I go to check and that's the damage. And I explain to him like the plastic hinges aren't broken on your bumper, man. They're, they're literally not the worst damage is this giant slit in his bumper and even then you can either get a whole new bumper or you know just use a little bit of tape on the under part and a little bit of tape on the top and boom it would fix it now does everyone want to do that no nobody not everyone wants and so i end up he, it's not even that person's car someone's cousin someone's cousin that owns the car and i'm like or is driving the car and i'm like okay so they call the actual person who the car belongs to you know she looks at the damages and she sits there and goes oh well 
yeah, the damage is awful. It's I'm like it's because she said she doesn't want to call the police because you know she doesn't want to put anything on the insurance because we're both young kids. And I'm like, and I'm like, okay, okay, she's throwing me a bone. She's just gonna let me pay for it and whatever. Fine, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. So, you know, I do the whole thing. I, I sit there and I sit there and I discuss with her. She looks up something. She says a brand new bumper is going to cost her 800 bucks. Again, I didn't think she needed a brand new bumper, but being my first accident, I'm a little flustered. I'm a little like, you know, I'm not prepared. I haven't done my proper research. So this is, you know, for me not being prepared, that's my fault. And I, uh, anyways, I pay the money. We shake hands and he goes, he just goes, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I know you're pissed off, dude, but I've tried to be as nice as I can. You don't have to be an asshole. You can understand that people make mistakes and we can move on. And so as I'm driving away, he takes a picture of my license plate. And I'm sitting there going, there's no way this, this person just had me give them $800, which I shouldn't have done. It, no, the second I left and I sent that money, I was like, I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done it in the slightest. I don't know why I did it. I was panicking. I was freaking out. There's a picture of my license plate on this per random person's phone. I just have to, and thankfully I was able to pay my insurance in time because I had some money saved up in savings as well as I was literally getting paid the next day. I'm using this basically my big blunder that I'm not too proud to admit as like a, a little moment to be like, guys, if you get into an accident, don't do what I did. Learn from, learn from my mistake. Make sure that you don't instantly cash out money at the first sign of a problem because I did that when I panicked and I'm down a shit ton of money. I'm, I might have another story regarding my situation after the financialness or whatever you want to call it. I've covered most of it already, but I will probably have another video regarding what's next. Just don't be a fucking idiot like me. Don't give them money at the first sign of trouble. I, what I should have, you know, just, I don't know. I, don't, I still don't know what I should have done. At the very least, I shouldn't have just instantly cashed out $800. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I, I'm sitting here in a little bit of hindsight. I'm now, it's right before the holidays. I'm struggling with money. Yeah, I'm just kind of, I don't know. I don't fucking know. Basically, the message I wanted to put across with the story is be careful when you guys drive. Because uh, even though I, like, I've been down that road hundreds of times, literally hundreds of times. I've never had anyone try and do this. And then out of nowhere, the one day I'm, uh, I'm running a little late, I get a little complacent on my driving and such. I just, boom, I regard somebody and it cost me a lot of money. So just make sure you guys are really careful. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. Also, thank you guys so much for the support. I should have said this at the beginning, but like I woke up and I'm up almost 10 subs. I mean, both my videos are, all three of my most recent videos are going crazy. So thank you guys so much for checking out the recent videos. I really do appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for the support. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video. It really helps the channel grow. It also makes it know that you're enjoying the content. So don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. Until next time, this is Dia, signing off. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you in the next video.